on man, I'm entertainment. You know, I wanna speak about, you know, DJ Gangsta Pro, Bobby Bass DJs, you know. I remember the first day coming from Richmond Middle High School. You know, like Christmas had done passed. I was practicing, you know, with Barry White, the orchestra one, the pink CD. You know what I'm saying? People saying gave me like five hundred dollars like for Christmas. So I went to Best Buy and bought me a DJ set. It wasn't all what I wanted right then and there before I started setting the goals. So you know, I always knew who Mommy's bass was because they was like like the hottest DJs and they was like they'll buy one you to get a job, right? So I had went and you know <clears throat> I was making tapes at home and stuff, so me and my homeboys them, you know, we used to walk from school and stuff and you know, I saw him, you know, like he was repairing the speakers and stuff, and, you know, I gave him a CD, and he said, you know, well, at the time, it wasn't CD, it was cassette tapes, you know, that's where I started from, cassette tapes, so, you know, I to practice till I got everything, and he said, you know, I'm gonna check it out, so, you know what, you know, he had checked it out, he played it on the DJ system, and he said, I want you on my team, and, you know, Kirk, me and Kirk type too, you know, Hitman from Miami Base, and, you know, like, they had a lot of students, and we used to always meet over their house, like, Saturday morning, you know, be freestyling, practicing on that DJ tapes, you know, practice before we do a party at the park or the Jam Marine or something like that. And, you know, from then, you know, I didn't know I was going to be a producer. It's just, I, like, used to think in my head, say, damn, if I could get all these break beats to match from all these fast songs when I was young before I started chasing the gold. You know, I got more into the productive side, but, you know, me and him, you know, we got a good relationship, you know, no matter what, he's still the teacher, even though I'm a professional and stuff, and it's pretty good, you know, like, I see him, he taught me a lot of things, and, you know, he come over, and what's funny about our relationship, you know, we, like, going out and, you know, having fun, you know, like, going to entertainment places and stuff. And what's funny about him, like, Saturday mornings, every Saturday, or mostly, like, regular job, he like, hey, Jay, man, what's going on, man? Let me come over there and mess around in the studio. You know, he got tracks he been putting down, but, you know, he done been there, done that. You know, they got, like, tracks that they made on the loop compilation they slid through. You know, his brother Greg, them, and, you know, it's good to be in the field, you know, like, you know, my DJ system back here. I would never try to go beyond my teacher, man. He a scientist, man. He got one of these numb marks that I got, you know, like me being a student. I said, hey, man, I want to give you a blessing. And, man, he showed me some scientific stuff. He was DJing in his room because he got, like, a studio room nearby our secret location and stuff. So what was good about it, he said, hey, man, I want to show you something. Man, he put a hurting on the DJ system, and it's pretty good. He know how to repair stuff, and it's a trademark, like I told him. You are good at what you do. You know, like, you know, people take compliments, what I'm saying? I told them like this, I say, if you take them same trademarks and you get, like, a contract with, you know, Miami Dade Community College, man, you all good, you all good, you in there all the way, which he can do it. And, you know, he wrestles, he does a lot of good things, and, you know, he's very loyal, you know, he got a good bond with my family, he held stuff down for me, you know, when I got sick and went in the hospital. That's a real friend and a real teacher, so it's pretty good, you know. I'm thinking about what I have my birthday party at, I don't know, maybe the script club or maybe David Buster, you know. I'm going to advertise the little young local television, you know. But, you know, it's pretty good, you know. It's just good at what you do, you know, you gotta do this, you know, like, you could be an influence, you know, like, in today's modern time, I could be a great influence on someone, you know, because I had influences that brought me into the music, so, you know, I wouldn't say that, that you would be a bandwagon or nothing, but it gotta be something you could do, you know, I'm on level four right now, level four of music, but everybody ain't gonna jump to level four, you gotta learn, like, every professional gotta catch, and, you know, both know these things, but, you know, the good thing about it, <clears throat> I never tried to steal none of his willows and, and knowledge, and, you know, let me repeat that, you know, just got to eat some popcorn, big up the young chat, we just came from the strip club, up showing, you know, nephew a good time, we were laid back, fine Spanish girls, Cuban girls, and, you know, but Bo know, you know, I would never try to take his wisdom and knowledge, and, you know, good things, see. That's why he's the teacher and I'm the student, you feel me? 
like you see my DJ system back here, this is where I take the concepts and I take them to the One Man Army studio. And you know, like what influenced One Man Army to come alive, you know. It's like a family tree under the Miami Bass movement, but I'm a production company and I bring you service. It's not really like a recording company. I get service, like, you know, like anybody see me, they might say, Hey, JK, man, I want you to take the cuss words out of the song. I can do that. I can throw you through distribution, different stuff like that. I'm a service company under the Miami Bass movement. And, you know, like, according with Staten Mills, how much effort he put, he said he want to bring the down bottom movement. It's like a family tree. It's a family tree, like the Miami Bass movement. They come from the modern time. You already know, Captain D, ghetto style DJs, and the modern people behind those people. It's like a family tree with this music as we expand, you feel me? You must be born with this, you know, there's something I'm born with. I love music, even my mama tell me, say, boy, turn that music up. I will go to sleep 24 hours listening to music. But that don't make me a professional, it's just the professional side of music what made me create One Man Army, you know. I'm a DJ and I'm a beat maker, but those two go together, you know, it ain't no thing like how people say, oh, I want to make beats. You cannot do what you see me do on TV. There's something I'm born with, but not even saying like that, like I'm criticizing my fans and stuff. It's just like this. It's, it's, a, it's a real vibe. You have to learn the swings of music, the rhythms. It ain't just getting no beat making program. You have to know. You have to know. Being a DJ, that is like you speed the song up or slow it. You got to know how to move the crowd. So that's a little of the beat making doing. That's just like you make up tempo beats, people are going to dance fast. You made slow, there's a band of DJ capabilities. So I took my DJ capabilities and, you know, I beat them all over the drums and stuff. And that's what gave me the concept. So, you know, it has to be within you. Or you could be like an original composer that play by ear, you know, like T-Nasty. T-Nasty could play anything by ear. And, you know, he play at a modern churches, you know, like the churches in that community. So it has to be within you. You just can't get no program. Oh, I could. But even though I know what I know now, a lot of the studio equipment, y'all see I use, some of it is not needed right now. So I wind up making three studios. Really, it's like four studios really in my room. You know, two virtual studios and two manual studios. And, you know, recording studio and the DJ studio and the virtual studios, but, you know, it could be within you, but you have to seek what I'm saying, you know, like, for real, for very sincerity, to people want to do this music, take notes from people, you know, and don't think you have all the sense, you know, like, Bernard and all them, they let me learn by myself, they know that I listen to stuff, but I'm better off learning by myself, you feel me, because, you know, all my sisters and brothers are older than me, so, learn it by yourself, it's nothing wrong, you learn just like others, and, it's the same old thing, you know, but it's sincerity, you have to seek this, you know, everybody know, first pray about it, you know, if you believe it spiritually, pray about it, seek, you have to seek, you know, just like football, you have to play optimist, basketball, optimist, then you go to high school, then you go to college, and you see, everything in professionalism, it's a level folk, you gotta want to grow and seek. And, you know, it's fun, it's fun, you know, and, you know, through the outcome, but, you know, I still DJ with Miami Bass and stuff, so that's my, that was my job before I got to what I got now, so a lot of part-time jobs I do, you know, besides one man on me, Miami Bass, you know, leadership, being a family person, helping out with the family, you know, helping, taking time with kids, you know, studying. You know what I'm saying? Exercising. So all those part-time things make me full-time. You know what I mean? But once again, y'all follow y'all dreams. And I had a lovely evening. Me and Jack was chilling, eating popcorn, drinking Red Bull with the fun mamitos. Man, like I told you got to escalate, not a don't. She got to escalate back there with some 24 she said. Boy, you silly. <laughs> but once again, y'all follow y'all dreams. Y'all hit me up on any site that y'all see as me. None of my sites got imposters. I am the real DJ JK, but follow y'all dreams and put God first.